welcome back to Coco for Disney. Once again, I'm so happy you're here um, letting me share all Disney things. Um, we have Magic Mail Monday, of course, today. So I have quite a few things I need to show you. Um, I have pens um, from different places. I have someone who shopped for me and I have a box lunch, small box lunch haul a hot topic haul, a little item that I bought from Bath and Body for Halloween. And then uh, the last one is a TJ Maxx. So should we start and let me show you what, what I picked up? <laughs> Let's start with the pens first. So this is the container of pens that I have. So there's quite a few in here, um, just different, different places that I've gotten from. Um, these have been sitting here for quite a while. So, um, there were two pins that I was waiting on to get for friends. Um, I am a D23 member, so I were, was picking up some pins. Um, this one I and picked this up. This is the Haunted Mansion pen that D23 had out for Halloween, or for, for the Haunted Mansion movie that came out. Really cute. I love the purples and blues they're using this year. And then this one I'd gotten from my friend Nathan um, at, at Magically Mad Pens, and I picked up Claude for him. And this is from the movie Elemental. So I thought that was such a cute name to give him, Claude. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, the next pen I got is quite an old pen. Our, it's not really old, it's not even three months, four, four months old, I believe. Um, this was one of the um, stained glass pens from Pink Alamode. Um, I um, had just gotten on there and just wanted a couple more pens, either trade or to keep or um, to for swap boxes. And I did pick up the Jasmine stained glass pen from Pink Alamode. She's pretty, she's very pretty. I love Jasmine. Um, she's becoming one of my favorites. In fact, I'm pretty soon here. I do want to show you um, my Aladdin collection. It's not big, um, but I do want to show it to you um, just because um, it's special to me. So, <laughs> okay. So then the next pens I got are from Pink Alamode as well. And there's their, you can always tell Pink Alamode for the most part when they send pens. These I also picked up. This was a, um, this is when they had their buy one get one free pen and so I picked up two that I really wanted I picked up one for Enola's board I'm not gonna I'm not sure if she's gonna let me put this pen on I, I do really want to be Mother Gothel this year so I did pick up this pen for her board now whether she's gonna let me put that pen on there <laughs> we will see but I did not have this one so I did get that one and then I did get this for my daughter-in-law she loves Beauty and the Beast so I did pick up that's I believe that's one of the friendship sidekick friendship pens that they had out there and these are large pens look how big that is so this will look really pretty I'm trying to make her a board as well Make the kids board, make her a board. <laughs> board. <laughs> All right. So then the next one I got, this one came off eBay. And, this and I just got finished showing you my Cinderella collection and the pens that I have in the background here as well. But I had to get this little guy. Um, I have um, a few villain pens, but I had only one pen of Lucifer. And he was um, right in, it was a small um, of him right inside Cinderella's door. So I had to get him in. This is a Disneyland Paris pen that I, now this was one of the so ones, this was another low bid pen. So I was really excited to get him. I just love those bidding, <laughs> love bidding on eBay. Now this is something quite different. I thought this was a pen. Um, I didn't read the instructions very well, um, but it was um, only $3. Um, and I had to get it. This is the package, the envelope they sent it in. And this comes all the way from Lindale, Georgia. So they put it in the newspaper and I was like, huh, what is this? What did I order? <laughs> and it's just a little tin painting, an A with Aurora. She's very pretty on there and her castle's in the background. But it's just like a little tin. I could hang that up. I'm not quite, quite sure what I'm going to do with it right now. Again, I thought it was like a pen. <laughs> and it came as this, which is really actually kind of nice. So, 
Might go nicer for a light switch, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So that was my small purchases from eBay and from the pens. Once again, the food cat cat is so generous and she was doing some shopping and I had gone shopping before at one of the character warehouses and look what she sent, look at this. Um, and um, one of the character warehouses and I had seen this particular item and I wanted it, but it wasn't at the price that I wanted to pay. And I um, believe that Color Me Courtney had come out with a um, series, a style of of clothing and I had seen this and I wanted to have it so badly and Kat was so sweet and generous to pick this up for me it was at a very very good price and Kat picking it up for me was even made it even more special so I did get and you'll see right here um, this is the color me Courtney tag isn't that beautiful she just knows how to put some colors together and make everything pop. But I did get the Tiana skirt. Now this is a long skirt and it is layered in the different colors of light blue, green, yellow. So pretty. And then the band is elastic. And then it just says Princess Tiana with one of the little water lilies there. But I just thought this might be fun um, to put just with a little um, yellow, maybe yellow t-shirt, and then we're out to din dinner in Disney sometime. Just very cute, very pretty, very fluffy, <laughs> very girly. <laughs> so she picked that up for me. Kat, that was so sweet. I just appreciate that so much. Um, just a sweet, sweet person. Thank you. She sent me something else too, but I can't open it until Christmas. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the TJ Maxx thing. So I did um, I did pick up a couple of gifts at TJ Maxx. Now, if you go into TJ Maxx, sometimes they have, I love earrings. I love, um, I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I don't wear rings or bracelets. Every now and then I wear, wear a watch. I do have my necklace that I always wear, but I love wearing earrings. And I love wearing big, loud earrings. Um, so I did pick a couple of, um, earrings up from TJ Maxx. If you go in there, they have bobble bar or Disney um, bobble bars. Uh, sometimes they're as low as $9.99, but usually they run around $12.99, $14.99. So I did get a pair of pumpkin earrings that I did wear with this purchase that I did wear in the prior video showing you Cinderella, which were cute. And I did pick up some others for gifts. But I, uh, once again, I had to go back for, I'm, I was running out of coffee. I'm almost out of my Malofus of coffee and it's so good. And I did have to go back and get this one um, just because it's hitting the Halloween season. And there was another brand there. And this one is a um, bewitching blend of pumpkin um, pie and vanilla. And the, these are just packaged so cute. Look at that. Now this time there is Mickey and Minnie riding a broom, or is that a mop? It's a broom. <laughs> but I just love these. I love, Joffrey's coffee has got me stuck. Um, as far as I brew my coffee, um, I don't do the Keurig, so I brew them, so. And these run $7.99. Very good coffee, very good coffee. I was not a big fan of Joffrey's, and then um, they started giving it to you in the rooms at the Disney resorts. I got hooked. <laughs> but now they're making all these different flavors. And now I really want to go stop by a Joffrey's in Disney World the next time I'm there and try one of their iced coffees. All right. So what should we get to next? Let's get to, let's leave um, Hot Topic for the last. Or um, yeah, Hot Topic for the last. So um, we did go to um, Des Moines and um, we went to their Bath and Body shop. And of course, Halloween's coming out. And if you go to Bath and Body, you are going to see in the very front of their store, their Halloween candles, their scents, um, their lotions, everything that's in the fall scents that are coming out. The other thing you're going to see is plug-in scented night lights. So you take a little um, scented oil and you screw it into the night light. It lights up and the smells just starts. But they had a Halloween set. So this is what I got. This is one of their little scents. This is where the little um, oil, um, the little 
it's a little um, oil jar and it screws into this and then the scent comes out through the top. Um, this is, it plugs into the wall. There's the plug that they have packaged up really nicely. And then this is the plug-in. Now, what's interesting about this and you cannot see, and if I get it close enough, you might be able to see that there's something behind there. Can you very rarely, barely see that skeleton in there? So what happens is when you plug this up, he shows through. <laughs> so a little creepy there, very creepy, but perfect for Halloween. He's in his little coffin. So I did pick that up at Bath and Body. Um, I did also get a couple of candles. So if you watch yours truly, darling, he will be showing, he does show Bath and Body. He goes to Bath and Body and he does show and he recommends, it's darling recommended. So um, I just love watching his channel and then I did pick this up from that so and I believe Tim and Johnny on Game Boys has also been hitting uh, Bath and Body pretty hard they got quite a few of these with the scents so they'll recommend some too <laughs> all right so now let's get to the hot topic so hot topic was having a two for one sale oh yes and it is Halloween and I just got finished showing you a pen of one of the villains that I like and would like to be for Halloween. And with going to Disney and it being Halloween, I had to have a t-shirt that would look Halloween-y, Halloween-ish. And I did get the Mother Gothel. Now their t-shirts, I believe, um, this was one of those days, I believe I got this t-shirt for $10. They were having a sale on their t-shirts she has been there for a while and I've wanted her for a while, but I just think she's just, look at that. She's another gorgeous villain when she has Rapunzel's hair magic. <laughs> Other than that, than that she's just dust, but um, very pretty. Then I am a big fan of the Haunted Mansion. Um, there's some others, I, I love going in there. My favorite part of the Haunted Mansion and my favorite character of the Haunted Mansion, just because I'm a, gr I, I'm a girly girl, is Tight Rope Walker. And of course, when you go in, this is what you see. And then as the room stretches up, <laughs> he talks about them. This is the portraits of the people. And then this is how they met their demise. <laughs> so these are cute. I have wanted these. They've had these for several years now, and I've never gotten them. And then of course you had the quicksand group. And again, you see this and then it comes up <laughs> as the room stretches. And then here's another lady I love, Constant ha Constance Hatchaway. And again, she's sitting here like this and as the room comes up, look at the ax in that guy's head. <laughs> so Constant Hatchaway um, has earned her name. You have to ride the ride or go see the movie. Um, Haunted Mansion. They don't explain um, Constance too much, but you'll see her. Um, and then, of course, then here is the um, dynamite barrel. And again, he's right here when you go to the ride and then as the stretching room stretches up, he is sitting on a barrel of dynamite. <laughs> but these are really cute. I think they were $12 and it was Hot Topic. Thank you, um, Disney Crazy Family. I was in a chat group with them for pens and um, I w we were in Des Moines and all of a sudden um, they notified us that, hey, if you're a member of Hot Topic and you go in today, there's a special buy one, get one free. And so I was there when that notification came across. Thank you, Disney Crazy Family. Thank you so much. So thanks for giving those notifications out and helping us all out. We really appreciate it. Thank you. So that was the Hot Topic. Love my box lunch. Again, we do not have a bat box lunch where I live, but they have one in Des Moines and we were in Des Moines. Um, we went to the zoo, we went to a water park. Um, we had a beautiful, wonderful Airbnb called the Corn Crib. Um, so that was a lot of fun. But of course, my one thing that I really wanted to do was to go to the mall and it was hot. It was very hot. And I said, okay, we don't have to go. And, and of course my daughter-in-law is sweet. She goes, no, we need to go. We need to go to the mall. So I got to go to box lunch. <laughs> Sadly, there were no sales. There was no box lunch money. Um, they, I, I 
pulled up wrong in the system for my rewards, so I didn't get any great deals, so I didn't buy a lot. However, they do have a 50%, they do have a clearance rack in the back of their store. And that particular day, they were running another 50% off. So I did get a few things and rather cheaply. Um, one of the first things I got that I really, um, I needed some new Disney shirts. Um, and it's not really, and so when I, like I said before, when I start to show you my Aladdin collection, this is going to be the shirt I'm going to wear. <laughs> so I got this shirt for $9. So there you have the little genie. Isn't that cute? A whole new world. And then it kind of ombres into the clouds, just as Jasmine and uh, Aladdin were going over the clouds. And it is kind of like a short, uh, I love this shirt because it's kind of a short shirt, uh, short sleeved spirit jersey because in the back you have that little tab. So it cuts across really well and again, ombres into the clouds back there. But again, $9. I think it was on sale for 18 and then, and it's a large one. So it's a large off the shoulder type of t-shirt. So. That'll be sent. So hopefully you'll get to see me wear that. I also have a pair of bobble bar earrings to wear with this. So <laughs> hope I can just show you that. All right. So then I got to get to the pens. And there was one pen in particular I wanted to have for Peter's board. It's two. I found two for Peter's board. So I have to show you this pen. Um, this is a Tinkerbell pen. This is a Disney 100 pen, pen, pen and this is a Tinkerbell pen. Um, it is a portrait pen and it is really cool. So if you see the pen, you see Tinkerbell in a frame and then you see Captain Hook. See his head there in the background and then his arms come around. Isn't that cute? And she is so pretty in this picture. So because it was Captain Hook and Tinkerbell, I really wanted Peter to have this pen. There he is, there's his little head right there. And then his coattails on either side of her. Just an amazing pen, Peter Pan pen, and very colorful, that was the other thing I liked about it. And then there was one other pen I had to get him. <laughs> now, Peter, um, my mom, I'm Coco, and my mom to my grandchildren is Nana. And also to my children, she's called Nana. So of course, in Peter Pan, there is a Nana. So I don't know. Peter said, um, that is not Nana. <laughs> Coco, that's not Nana. But in Peter Pan, he knows that that is Nana. So that was another cute one that they had there. And then there was one more. I had to get to a certain amount um, for me to be able to use my rewards dollars, which then I wasn't able to use them. Um, I don't want to lose those because those were important. Of with Halloween coming up, I had to get this little pin. And this is the let me out guy. So of course he has that, he has the coffin and then above is the top of the coffin and he's trying to push out of that coffin and get out. Got the candlestick on the top. Got that candelabra there on the top and he's just trying to get out. <laughs> this always scared me when I was younger, this part of the ride, because I thought he was going to get out. <laughs> but very cute. All right. That is my haul for the day. Um, quite a bit. It's been over, um, the, the whole haul has been over a couple of weeks. Um, some stuff was sitting here. Um, Stuff, stuff had a great deals on. So just wanted to share that with you. And I'm so glad you were here to let me share it with you. I thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video. Meanwhile, I hope you have a good day, good week, good month. And as I say in the parks, have a magical day. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye now.